Alrighty, guys, back. Duelist of the Roses. Let's, uh, there we go. The guy, guys, got you guys set up pretty good. So let's just continue. The Dark Deck of Darkness. Let's do it. And, you know, this guy, out of all the guys we play, he could, you know, and I even said this in uh, the ranking challenger. Or, no, it wasn't that, it was the Oktoberfest challenge. This guy can either be really, really, like, dumb with his leader placement and his monsters, or basically it matters, like, okay, is this guy gonna have, you know, a pretty good hand or an awful hand? Really, that's what it comes down to. Uh, reduces. Alright, that's a good effect. And see, like, this card can move twice. So, I mean, we'll see, we'll see. But for now, this should make Mystical Sand? No, what? But she's female, right? A rock and a female? That is Mystical Sand, right? Uh, maybe I needed an Enchanting Mermaid to have more than 1,500 point. Man, if I had known that. Well, I, but it's okay. Thankfully, I left Enchanting Mermaid second. So I can always, uh, and we've got the forest card. I can always fuse Mermaid with Mystical Sheep 2 to make uh, Neck Ogal, uh number two, so still okay. It's just, I guess I've forgotten how some of the fusions work. So, for example, yeah, if that card in front of him would have been a monster, I guess we would have been in trouble, but no, nah, it doesn't seem to be. So, let's go with Ma Majerus Light. And this is probably a trap, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Mesmeric Control, yeah. Yeah, so, like I said, really, against him, um, uh, I guess I'll keep Mermaid back here. It really just depends, like, now, see, after this, is he going to go, you know, big and get a big monster, or is he just going to play another trap, you know, so, who knows, we'll see. But yeah, this guy can either be real easy or real hard, but see, that's another trap, it, it has to be, because yeah, he played it, like, way behind him, so. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do, uh, I'm going to, hmm, so this is Magirus Light, a fiend. This should make Rosie, right? Yeah, so let's make Rosie. Let's try to attack. Basically, let's just try to keep wasting his traps. Yeah, yeah, so another trap. Anti trap? Yeah, Peppy doesn't warn us really good here. Okay, so that's a trap. So, but now I'm gonna move back, because basically I only moved forward in order to try to free up uh, Magirus Light. Luckily, we drew a plant there, so. We ultimately can make Pumpkin in this deck. That's good to know. See, now he has a monster, so see, now. Now's when the duel becomes, and even then, it's just Crash Clown. It's not like, trust me, he has better fiends. He has, oh, I forgot to show at least one duel here in the Yami field, but, uh, yeah, he has better fiends. Like, 2350, honestly, it's not even that bad. It's really not. Um, let's just do, flip face up the monster proceed. Spellbound for one turn, really. Sounds good to me, Mystical Sheep. Uh, stand in front of me and spellbind his monster. And then after that, I'll throw sheep on top of ne uh, the Neko Gal one or whatever. I no, the, on top of the Channing Mermaid. See, now he's playing his monster, so, you know. Yeah, like I said, this duel can be easier or hard. It really just depends, like, and you saw, like, he got his traps first, and now he's playing the monsters. And also, I guess it does matter if he powers them up or not, so. Okay, so while this guy's spellbound, I'm actually going to send a fake trap up here. That way he can move this here and we can reveal what it is. Uh, but for now, now, something you should know is that all the uh, fiend cards get a really bad power down in the forest. So if he ever starts coming for you, either head for this corner or like this corner and activate your field card. But since our cards are good on forest, we're just gonna start heading, uh, we're gonna start heading this way over here, so yeah. But anyway, uh, we're gonna end our turn. Da -da 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 -da. Pro tips. And if you ever see that he has a card on the force, go ahead and attack it because if your attack goes through, it's going to do a lot of damage. Wow, Shadow. So he wasted that effect. Uh, that card spell binds for three turns, I'm pretty sure. Let's check. Uh, yep, three turns. Wow, so he just... Shh. All right, let's see if we got something that can out 2350 or the field card. Uh, Feral Imp is good, though. Go with uh, well, the longer we wait, the worse block attack is gonna get. So, honestly, let's play block attack right here, 
and let's back up one down, one down, and we will end our. Oh, good to know that that's on the field. So check this out. I think he might have played this in the Oktoberfest, but yeah, Gorgon's Eye. This is a Panic's main strategy: permanent trap whenever you're in defense. Yeah, cancel the change of shoot to attack. Yikes. So, yeah, long story short, after that, no defense mode, but he only has one, so take that card out by any means necessary, so. And honestly, taking that card out is easy to do, because it just sits there, so, you know. Go after that card with your strongest monster, and luckily for us, it is on the force, too. So the best, best path to take this out, honestly, in this situation, if you were in it, it'd be to go, you know, this way go the long way around, because in, in the, this force, his fiends will be weak AF, so, and he's not even, uh, oh, we triggered block attack, but he's not even coming for us with the shadow, so, yeah, pretty easy, uh, we could honestly beat the shadow, we could tie it with Feral M. should I do that? No, let's defeat it with Metal Dragon? Yeah, I don't know if this deck can produce better dragon fusions. We'll just go with Metal Dragon. We'll just go with it. I'm not sure exactly. I don't think this deck has the potential to produce Twin Headed Thunder, so. Yeah, 1850 on 18. That'll be good. And we'll just move Neckle Gal here. Now she's got the boost. So we're good for now. Alright. What you got, Panic? I'm not gonna panic. Panic. Deep in shadows, hidden in the night. And see, he even like, <laughs> he even left Crass Clown there. So long story short, we got plenty of time, guys. Plenty of time to, uh, you know, draw our field card or fuse for whatever. So, what attack is this guy gonna use? Ooh, tickle attack, double tickle attack. Go, lightning burst stream. Man, Metal Dragon looks cool, bro. Ha! You didn't know your darkness monsters were super affected by lightning, did you? Ha! That's because by using a lightning attack, I reveal the light itself, which drowns out the darkness. Good job, Metal Dragon. Why didn't they make that Metal Dragon's effect, huh? They're gonna give it that attack animation and not give it an effect? What? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Dino. I could always play this, but there's, believe it or not, Crest Claw is not so bad, and there's, there are some better fiend monsters, let's say. That's why I haven't played a Fungi of the Musket. Trust me, there are some well, pretty good uh, uh, fiends we want to use that on. Because I'm pretty sure at this point, right, like, we haven't done anything, but I'm pretty sure Pegasus is setting up his ritual. Like, one of these is probably his ritual, and one's a trap. And he already has one fiend on the field. You should know that all he needs for his uh, ritual to summon Zara the Mant, it'll be at 3,300, and if it's next to his leader, it'll be at 3,800, so watch out. Uh, but all he needs is any two fiends and King of Yami Makai, so... If you ever see him summon King of Yami Makai, aka himself, try to kill him as fast as possible. But, I mean, sometimes, you know, he's just got too many traps in the way, so, you know, it's... Yeah, his strategy is annoying, but, you know, it is doable. Because, like, as you see here, he's not even... He really could have put the pressure on us, but he's not even... He's not even trying, bro. Uh, it's good to know. So we've already used a plant. Maybe we have another plant in the deck? Well, for now, I'm just gonna set Dark Assailant. Because we could go... Oh, right, right, my bad. But either way, that's fine. We could go Pumpkin um, once I destroy uh, Gorgon's Eye. If we have another plant. I totally forgot about Gorgon's Eye there. But it's a good thing I did that, because, yeah. Don't want to forget about it in a critical situation. The trap. Okay. All right, Metal Dragon, keep keep going for the eye, man. Keep going for the eye. You're doing good, Metal Dragon. And see, that's exactly what I was talking about like 20 turns ago. Uh, are we at about 10 minutes? What's this? Uh, a Pyro, Flame Viper. Uh, let's see, Pyro Fiend. Pyro. Well, I don't think Flame Snake will fuse with anything. Oh, maybe there's a beast in this deck. Maybe we can create Flame Sub. Or ah, yeah, we'll set this to the field. But guys, yeah, we are close to another 10 minutes. 
So I want to thank you guys all for joining me. I'm going to take a long break in between this part and the next one. Uh, just to get something to eat and stuff. But yeah, thank you guys all so much for joining me. And I'll see you all next time. Have a happy 4th of July, guys. Hope you're liking the stream. All right. See you guys then. Did I say stream? I, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> that wasn't a spoiler. Shh, that wasn't a spoiler.